everyone. Today we're going to be making a pair of mushroom earrings. And what you're going to need for this project is, to start with, you're going to need a sketchbook or a piece of paper, a pencil, so you're able to draw out the design of your mushroom. You'll need two pieces of scrap 20 gauge wire. You'll need flush cutters, chain nose pliers. You'll need round nose pliers. You'll need two jump rings, two fish hook earrings, and you'll need some teeny tiny little jump rings. Oh, they're small. And those will be the little circles on your mushroom. You'll also need tweezers to help you with the small jump rings. Two mats. These are silicone mats. You'll need a silicone mixing tool, UV resin. You'll need a few colors to mix in. Ruby, which is the red. White and amber. All the supplies for these are in the description box below. So let's get started. All right, to begin with, you just need to take your small piece of scrap wire. These are three to four inches long. And you'll need to start Oh, not at the center, but over on this side, right at the edge of the bottom of the mushroom. And you're going to need to bend it. I'm using the largest part of my round nose pliers down at the bottom. And then you just check it. And you just go along to the way you drew it. So I have a little bend here. I don't like the way that really bent, but okay. So I'm going to go back. And you just adjust it with your fingers if you need to. That's where these come in. You can just, if you make a mistake, you can just flatten it out. Okay. And I'm just gonna use my pencil here because I want a, like a thicker top to it. here go about that far Let's see how it's going so far so good and then we need one more bigger bend down here and you can just always readjust it's perfectly okay just to get it to where you want it. Like so. And then right where that ended, this piece right here, we're just gonna make a sharp angle. And then that's going to just meet up. And you can flatten this out because it is a little 
bent a little bit. Okay, like so. And then we need to make a nice round bottom where it meets up at this edge. So, now this might be too small so you can also use the pencil to help you I mean or whatever you have that's a little bit larger there we go you gotta get the pencil out <laughs> how that looks. Um, that's pretty good. Oops. Okay, move that in a little bit more. And that's perfect. So, uh, one more item that you will need, which I forgot. And you'll need flush cutters. So once you get that to where you want it, just clip off that little end like so. And then just have all the pieces like meet up. Like that. You might have to do still a little more adjusting, but that's the way it's going to look. And you're going to make two of those. All right, now that you have the two done, they look similar. They're going to be like slight differences and that's only because they're handmade. So we'll just take those and slide those off. Like so. Just, all right. So you'll need some UV resin tape, and I'm trying to find some scissors. This stuff's so sticky. I'll put one here. Press them down onto the tape. You can turn the tape over and just make sure they're really stuck on there. Like so. Then you're going to need the small little jump rings. And then just take several out. And get yourself some tweezers. And then you can look at your picture like how I have these little circles there. So you can just take a couple. We'll just place a couple on here. And put one up there. This one seems to 
to be very flat. So you just take your pliers and you can just flatten it out. have to move them around a little bit until you find the way that you would like them. And then this one, we're going to use oops, your cutters. And we're just, now there's the opening there. So we're just going to cut it in half. Put a piece there. And a piece, oops, let me see got this little there like so this one needs to move in a little bit and then this can go right there there and then again you can turn it over and just make sure it's secure all right so we need your mats. Put that on the mat. Oops. Saw that lift up a little bit. Put it on the mat. And then you'll need a little mat for mixing. And you'll need a mixing tool and a paper towel. Move all this stuff aside. Paper towel ready. Uh, all right, so we're just going to put a little resin on there, and we'll do a dot of red. Okay. that up and then very carefully you're going just to dot it around Now these are very small. I believe they're about maybe an inch and a half. We're going to cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, after cleaning off the red, if you have any left over, you can make something else with it. Um, I just put it in for like a little like cabochon bead. Okay, so we need a little bit of white. Mix 
that up. And then we'll just dab it into here. Okay, and then we're going to cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, that's done curing. And now we need the amber. And again, we don't need that much, so just a, a little dab. And the dot that. Oh, that one's not even open. So, I'm have to open this one up. There we go. Okay. I'm just cleaning off my tweezers there and now I have a little bit of white so we could just mix that in too and just see we might need just a little bit of white in that just to lighten it up a bit so just a drop and then we'll mix it up Later. It's actually a really pretty. There we go. So I wanted something very pale. All right, and then we'll put this in for 60 seconds. We'll cure it for 60 seconds. Okay, so now we can take it off the tape, but be careful because it's very delicate. section and peeling down a little bit so I can get the tape off without leaving any kind of residue. If it does, you can just get it off with the tape. But if there's a lot on there and you can't get it off with the tape, 
Um, you can use 100% acetone nail polish in a Q-tip and just get it off. Okay. okay, so I noticed a little more residue and the tape wouldn't take it off. So like I said, 100% acetone nail polish remover. It will not harm the resin. Just be careful so you don't spill it all over. And then just where you see the little tape, so you can see the color on there. It's a little, like a little bit green. You just remove it. And then you can always check, make sure that you get it all. Okay. Okay, and then the next step, we're just going to take the clear UV resin place it on here and we're just going to use that little tool that we're using to drop in the color and we're just going to use that to spread it to the edges And this is the back side of the earring. just double check make sure it's to the edges and we're going to cure this for 90 seconds now that these are cured we're going to turn them over to the other side and we're going to put another layer on the front with the clear UV gel and we're going to spread it to the edges. Need a little bit more. Now if they move around a bit for you, like when you're trying to spread it around, you can use sticky tack and you can just tack it on top and then it'll hold it in place so you can spread your UV resin. And we're gonna cure this for 90 seconds. Now that they're done curing, and I cured both sides, we're going to need to drill a hole for the jump ring and the drill that I'm using is just a small nail drill and it's a very tiny little drill bit and you don't have to turn it on too high and we're just going to go through one of these Be careful though so you don't make a mess of it. Um, we're just going to go through one of these little dots or you know the 
the jump rings that we put in. Just take your time. You might have to speed it up. I think mine's a little, little low, but to start doing the haul would be great just to use the, uh, there we go. And then we'll turn it down so we can start this one. And again, we'll go through, let me see. That one was closer to the top, so we'll just try to go right in between, on this one, between the dot and the top part of the mushroom. Oops. Be careful so you don't drill your fingers. Okay, so. Okay, there we go. It's just that quick. Oh, I hope you saw it. <laughs> hope I didn't. Okay. And then you just take your jump ring, open it to the side. Never pull it apart. Always open to the side. And then we'll get, let's see, there we go. We get that one on. And then you put on one of your fish hook earrings. And I'm going to use another pair of pliers just to help close it up. That's one earring. Get the second. Again, open sideways. Whoops. They can get away from you sometimes. They're so small. And then just close it up. And dust some of this away and here are your cute little mushroom earrings I hope you liked my video if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and press that bell for further notifications of upcoming videos also in the description box below you will find links to my artwork photography and my jewelry so I hope to see you soon Bye-bye.